so thank you all for inviting me. I enjoy sharing uh, my few minutes with the New Jersey Institute of Technology. You can see from my background and from the pictures that we live in a completely different place than, <clears throat> than the Hudson River. Uh, the name of our entity at the University of Arizona is the Data Sciences Academy. The S is intentional. Uh, it's to remind people that there are a lot of ways to engage in data science, that no one is an expert in anything but a small part of the field. And it, it reminds us of the complexity of what data science is. So um, the Data Sciences Academy has an origin story. It began in February of 2020 with the design charrette. Uh, so if, for those of you who, who've never uh, thought about this phrase before, and I hadn't until this time, is often used by architects to put together lots of tables, lots of notes, lots of large sheets of paper. And the goal of that activity is to create a, a mission, in this case, a mission for the Data Sciences Academy. In a charrette, uh, <clears throat> the, the, um, the community is made flat. An undergraduate student has the same status as a dean. And so, um, whoops, did things go bad? Um, and so, uh, uh, so we get together, they spend, they brainstorm, they fill up the, the post-it notes and they fill up lots of information on the, um, on the large sheets of paper and they hand it to me. And so then uh, I am to take that stuff and try to create a mission for the university. Since the design charrette was in February of 2020, you can imagine that did, that did not happen. We thought we were gonna take a few weeks for this coronavirus and then move on, but we are now in our third year of the pandemic and, it, and I think it, it behooves us to take a minute to think about uh, all that we've been through in the past two years and, to, and, and all of us around us and, and what, they have, what they have been through. So uh, we came up with sort of five areas of emphasis. I'm gonna spend like a minute or so or less than a minute on each one of these. K-14 outreach, because we wanna make sure we include the community colleges, undergraduates, graduates, and research. Um, shoot, I'm having trouble forwarding. Um, for K-14 outreach, we have both summer and, and monthly professional development on data sciences. I would say when we started the teachers who are in a very difficult situation with the rules at their school changing all the time, giving them a brand new way of thinking about teaching was difficult, but around October or November, things completely changed. They started lobbying their teachers, recruiting faculty, talking to their administrators and, and, and making presentations all over the place. So our teachers have presented at after school science at community colleges, they'll present Saturday at the Math Education Appreciation Day, they'll present for the Southern Arizona Science and Engineering Foundation and for the Computer Science Teachers Association. We, we're, we're going to try to extend what we do with teachers with a NASA grant submission called Planet Earth by the Numbers, thinking like a data scientist. And if you, when we get to the questions, you can ask me about that. We want, most students don't know the difference between the majors we have at the University of Arizona, computer science, statistics, systems engineering, management information systems, and the School of Information. So we're, 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 we're providing a flyer, a video, and a poster so that children, their parents, their counselors, their teachers throughout the state will know the difference between these, these ways of becoming a data scientist. For undergraduate research and education, we've partnered with, oh, I should point, point out that we created a statistics and data science degree about three years ago, and it's been, it's been rapidly increasing. We're up to about 250 majors and 100 minors in year three. We, we graduated our first cohort last year of about 25 students. With respect to research, we're, uh, we're partnering with the Undergraduate Biology Research Project, which has been around for 30 years, and we have recruited seven Data Sciences Academy undergraduate fellows uh, in a list of 150 people that applied for this job, all of the fellows finished in the top 15. So we get really, really strong students that want to follow this path. Um, the National Science Foundation just put out a request. They want to make this type of thing a national, um, sent a national idea of having in the undergraduate research space, biological scientists, mathematicians, and computer scientists working together. So we, uh, we responded to that and look forward to a national endeavor um, in the data sciences and biological sciences. We also wanna make sure that students with all these choices, the data sciences are recruited into the right major and retaining the undergraduate major, uh, pick what's right for them because the difference between management information systems and, and systems engineering can be different. And if you're in the wrong place, then it could, you could lose valuable time in getting your degree. 
for graduate education, similarly today that we're working on a professional master's degree in applied statistics and data science. Um, it also has each of these things involve a certificate, the foundations courses, the applications courses. Ours differs from from most of the other uh, data science master's degrees in that in the sense that we want a domain science to be a touchstone for for the students who go through this program. The first three are likely to be earth sciences, which is a big deal here bioinformatics and natural language processing so that they see their data science applied to an area of interest. They'll also have a capstone experience and the way we've set this up is so that even if you finish the program, you can come back years later as your job requirements change to continue to, to keep yourself up to date on what is new in data science. We're working with uh, Cal Poly Pomona and University of Texas Rio Grande Valley in an STEM planning grant. The idea there is to help people from these underserved populations, Hispanic serving institutions, um, create a space for them so they can make the transition from the BS to the MS to the PhD by creating a community that sort of includes all three universities. So we've just started that uh, and we will be working on over the next two years with the hopes of expanding that to a larger program. For, uh, we also hold a weekly seminar and you can also go to our website and learn about learn about that. Uh, we are now, I think they're about to push the button today for a Tripods grant. Our partners are uh, UC Davis and a consortium from New Mexico that's Los Alamos National Lab, Santa Fe Institute and University of New Mexico. And I can discuss that Tripods grant with you if you would like. Uh, we just funded the, the seed grants for five data sciences at Academy Research Fellows. Uh, and they use that money for graduate students, undergraduate students, equipment and consulting. Um, and, and the projects are interesting. There's sustainable agriculture, climate impact on butterflies, post-fire debris flows, dementia studying, fMRI data, and cosmology. We've also used uh, the academy money to expand opportunities in statistical consulting and, and expand training for our next generation of students in, in consulting. So that's what we're up to. Um, so thank you for taking the time to listen to me, and I look forward to the conversation that we're going to have soon. <laughs>